Hello children, today I am going to start from your grade 9, 6 unit of your ICT book that is ICT and society. So children, do you know why I selected this lesson? This is the last lesson of your ICT book because this should be, this lesson should be at the beginning point of your ICT book because from this lesson you will be able to learn about the job opportunities from ICT and impact of ICT on society and many more things you can be able to learn from this lesson so that's what I selected this lesson at the beginning this chapter will cover the following changes to the society brought about by information communication technology so impact of ICT on society before we are entering the lesson we can see there are two students while they are walking they are having a discussion okay let's see the discussion of them the method of teaching in our class has changed a lot today we saw a video during the science lesson we also saw some photos related to the history lesson on a computer i remember the lesson very well now i love learning now she is saying like that now there's a boy he is saying yes that is e-learning it is teaching using ict and the internet ICT has brought about great changes everywhere in every field. Use of ICT has helped complete tasks for more efficient and quickly. Let's look at some such services we get. Okay, nowadays we can see many technological equipments during the pandemic season also you are using many equipments. But in our days, that means in past, we did not have any technological equipments like you because during the lockdown season also you can be able to learn at your home in our period we do not have like the facilities like you all the method of teaching in our class has changed a lot today we saw a video during the science lesson they saw a video during the science lesson and we saw some photos related to the history lesson on a computer and they saw some photos related for their history lesson on a computer so all those things they saw from the internet i remember the lesson very well now i love learning so they learn many things from internet yes that is e-learning it is teaching using ict and the internet now he is saying that is a e-learning system so it is using internet ict has brought about great changes everywhere in every field so use of ict has helped complete tasks more efficient and quickly so this girl saw a video clip while she was learning in science so that boy also saying about the internet also so this ict took a big place in our life okay so now you can see here there's a school hospital public service e-governance and e-commerce nowadays you can see in your school smart tvs projectors and many more technological equipments so with that you can get a clear explanation with pictures and video clips you can use more than your textbooks for your learning equipments collecting information through the internet you can gather information from the internet dialogue and messaging with the schools so you can share your ideas with um, among the other schools the facility to learn anytime from anywhere so you can be able to learn that means you have the facility to learn anytime from anywhere so this is related for school learning now if we discussed about the hospital e-health so use of computer based modern equipment to diagnose illness so all those we are calling as biomedical equipments likewise if we take from the x-ray side especially ct scanner so all those especially blood reports also they are using internet to diagnose illness facility to store patient information to be used when necessary have you noticed nowadays hospitals each and every government hospital they are using a barcode system to give the hospitals that mean patients information they are gathering information using ict let's move for public service e-governance now bill payment especially public services nowadays we can see specimen forms loan information government information center ability to apply to state universities through the internet to obtain circulars legal services information in gazette the map of sri lanka so all those things you can use ict and the other one is e-commerce exchange of goods through the internet 
okay now uh, nowadays also we are changing goods through the internet especially ongoing pandemic season okay so people they can't go out they have to order from internet that means they have to use this ICT okay so with that they can order goods so they can exchange goods from the internet online shopping and purchasing okay now uh, there's an activity now now here also you can see there's a discussion most of the countries in the world are fast developing aren't they do you know the reasons for having two kinds of countries as the develop and developing okay now girl is saying our teacher explained us how a society can develop with information communication technology yet information communication technology has not yet reached some countries some countries lagged behind now this boy is saying most of countries in the world are fast developing do you know the reasons of having two kinds of countries as develop and developing okay what can you say about our country still in our childhood as well we know about sri lanka the common statement is sri lanka is a developing country nowadays also we can say sri lanka is a developing country so likewise we have to tell for future as well okay our teacher explained us how a society and can develop with information communication technology okay information communication technology helped us a lot because it helped each and every country to develop yet information communication technology has not yet reached some countries but some countries they didn't reach even okay some countries lag behind they have some restrictions behind them digital divide okay now you can see here some societies in the world have ready access to computers and the internet while some others do not this gap between those who have and those who have is known as digital device now you can see here some societies in the world have ready access to computers and the internet while some others do not now you can see here there's a huge gap okay so this gap between those who have and those who have not is known as digital device some people they know about the digital devices and especially the now you can see here in the other part you can see here they don't know anything about the digital devices okay so they have a huge gap now there's a, another discussion okay look there's a garbage everywhere the whole environment is dirty the girl is saying okay yes of this waste electronic waste is the most dangerous they are not only make the environment dirty but also harm people now now you can see here there are full of garbage here you can see everywhere okay so this boy is saying yes of this waste electronic waste is the most dangerous okay they are not only make the environment dirty but also harm people these things are harmful for our body now you can see here a harmful electronic waste items now we are going to learn about how can be harmful for us okay a few harmful electronic waste items CDs and covers, LED display screen, screen with cathode ray tube, printer, keyboard and mouse, electric cells, CFL bulbs, cables, mobile phones, motherboard. So you can think like this here. How can it harmful for our body? So you can think like this. Okay. So we are going to learn more things about that. Toxic. That may not good for our body. Okay. Toxic poison released from e-waste likely to harm humans. These are the toxic poisons. Okay. Selenium. Loss of hair. Nails can cause allergies. Okay. From this selenium toxic poison. So you can lose your hair. Nails can cause allergies. Lead. Defects in brain, stomach and blood circulation. Beryllium. Lung cancer. Breathing difficulties. Okay, now you can see here now you can see in this picture this is related for the lungs okay and the other one is polyvinyl chloride strong gas goes when burning plastic special you have to pay your attention for that okay 
breathing related diseases that are also caused for your lungs mercury affects nerves liver okay mercury and the other one is barium swelling of brain weak muscles damage to heart from barium it affects brain especially muscles and the heart chromium various allergies okay brominated flame retardants physical weaknesses okay arsenic cancer nerve problems skin diseases trichloroethylene affects the liver gallbladder infant death polychlorinated biphenyl destroys liver respiratory system causes cancer cadmium kidney weaknesses affects bone density causes cancer dioxins and fevrons skin diseases weak nerves cancers now you can't believe these things okay but we are releasing a wasted phone or a battery or else some equipment especially cd even though if it is a digital device so you have to think about these things especially you will throw if you release one of these item to the environment you have to consider about this so there are many more toxic harmful that means toxic poisons related from the e-waste so those are harmful to our body okay so you have to consider about these things okay and the other one is you have to use e3r technique to minimize this e-waste minimizing purchase or collection of unnecessary goods red days okay so you have to minimize the purchasing amount or collection of unnecessary goods so you have to have a limit of those things so it called reduce use again and again after repairing it whenever possible instead of buying another one new equipment you have to reuse it hand over to suitable agencies for recycling purposes so you have if you don't want those items you have to hand over those to suitable agencies for recycling otherwise you can't release them to the environment so that's what we are calling as 3R system of e-waste computer related job opportunities this is very important topic of your lesson okay there's another discussion among these two children we learning about ICT help us get into a job easily what are such opportunities available those who have obtained a proper education on ICT related subjects have ample job opportunities let's find out such opportunities and their responsibilities okay nowadays we need ict learning ict is must because there are many more jobs related to ict especially in past especially past especially teachers also they uh, did not want to learn about ict but nowadays also even the school teachers also they should learn they must learn ict especially the government workers also they have to have knowledge about ict okay there are many more job opportunities related to ict okay so let's see what are they software quality assurance engineer okay software quality assurance engineer carries out tasks to assure that the software functions properly now software quality assurance engineer so, okay their task is carries out tasks to assure that the software functions properly they have to care about it database administrator plans installs configures and maintains databases software engineers there are many more software engineers designs and develops software web application developer designs develops and maintain websites software architect software architect designs the architecture of software components and their interconnections graphic designer this profession also very familiar in the society develops web pages advertisement magazines banners using software programmer develops computer program using programming languages system analyst analyzes organizational needs and designs computer systems coordinates development of software network administrator installs configures and maintains computer network 
ஐடி கன்சல்டன்ட் அட்வைசர்ஸ் ஓர்கனைசேஷன்ஸ் on the matters related to information technology now you can see here there are many more job opportunities related to it field now we are going to talk about the summary of this lesson the use of ict in education now we discussed about the ict in education sector especially health services commerce and e public services so those have resulted in increased efficiency we discussed already there's a digital divide between societies having and not having access to ict sources improper disposal of e waste is a threat to all living beings and the environment now we discussed about the what are the toxic poison that which can be harmful to our body and we learned about the 3r concept as well reduce reuse and recycle so we learned about those things about regarding the e waste and we finally we discussed about the job opportunities okay putala this is the end of your lesson there are uh, now you can see here uh, there's a english and tamil glossary you have to have good knowledge about these things okay because this is a new subject for you uh, but grade eight also you learned about that this is a new subject for you anyway you have to have a good knowledge about this vocabulary okay so you saw from the other lessons